Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to look at how you can upload an SVG to Design Space on your Mac. So you can see I've got an SVG here. So an SVG is a multi-layered image. So unlike JPEG and PNG when they're one dimensional and it's just a flat image, with an SVG, it's multi-layers, so everything is broken down into color layers. So rather than having an image with several colors and then you have to really work to break those colors up with a JPEG or a PNG, with an SVG, it's all done for you. So there's no work with them and they make changing them and amending them and just really playing with the file a lot easier. So SVGs are super useful when working with designs. So we're on a Mac today. We're going to go to upload, upload image. With uploads, you can upload images or pattern fill. We're going to select image. We're going to go to upload image, browse. You can drag and drop, but I find sometimes it can be a bit glitchy. So I just, I just stick to browse. We're going to go to our downloads. Now, one of the biggest differences between Mac and Windows is that Mac allows you to open files and select images from files to upload into Design Space. Windows does not allow you to grab images from files. So you have to actually move all your images from the file before you can upload on Windows. And I will show that in a video. But Mac is really easy because you can grab them straight from your downloads. So I can go to downloads. I can select the folder. I can select SVG and I can then choose which of these images I want to bring in because you can only bring in one file at a time with Design Space. Now, there is something that changes that slightly and there is a video tomorrow, no, Friday, sorry, Friday, that will show you how you can actually bring multiple images in. But rule of thumb with Design Space is you can only bring one image in at a time. So we're going to select this one and go to open. Because it's an SVG, we do not have all of those extra stages that you get with JPEG and PNG where you have to remove the background. We don't get any of that. An SVG is brought in as a cut and it brings it straight in. There's nothing to change. Now you can change it to a print and cut in the canvas, but it will always bring an SVG in as a cut image. The name it's given is seven. So we're just gonna change it to bunny. And then we're gonna add a tag, which is gnome. And I always tag because if you're gonna bring in hundreds of images, you're never going to remember the image names and some of them have really obscure image names and if you don't change them, you'll never find them. So it's always worth adding a tag. I can then select upload, select it and add to canvas. Before I resize it and they do come in huge, I'm going to make sure that the lock is on because if I change the height, it's going to keep the width as it is and it will lose its dimensions. And for some reason at the moment, SVGs are coming in with the lock off. So you want to make sure you put the lock back on. And then when you change the height or the width, it will keep everything else in the correct proportions. You can then see all of my layers down the side. SVGs are great because you can bring them straight in and then because they're already broken up into color layers, they're so easy to play around and amend. If you've got Windows, don't worry. Next week I'll be doing all these videos for Windows and the following week I'll be doing them for iOS as well. If you're watching this at the live premiere, then I'm in the live chat. Like, come and talk to me. I love talking to you all in the live chat. If you're watching me later than 7 p.m., then you can ask any questions below in the, in the comments and I will again get back to you. 
please do subscribe hit that notification bell give the video a thumbs up it really does help me out it's free so you know why not it's free to do and uh, it really does help me so thank you very much to those of you that do I hope you've enjoyed this and as always thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you all again soon bye